In this video, we will go over Falcon's entire moveset, and at the end we will rank the moves in the wave of tier list. We will cover why a move is useful or not, along with when and when you should go for the move. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see another one with another fighter. And with all that being said, let's get started. Forward Smash Forward Smash has a couple of setups that can work from time to time, but for the most part this move isn't as useful as his other smash attacks since it doesn't have that much range or priority. It can be used sometimes as a read or a callout move for the most part, but there are better options. Back Throw Arguably Falcon's worst throw. There really is no reason to go for this throw unless the opponent is at high percentage since the move can work as a kill throw if near the ledge, but that's mainly it. Falcon Punch Although this move is a staple of Smash Brothers, realistically it's a pretty bad move. You can use it after a shield break punish, or maybe a call out read option at best. And you can sometimes use it to edge card really exploitable recoveries, but there are also easier and less committal moves that you can go for as well as an edge card. Forward throw. Forward throw is useful because it can lead into a tech situation and load of in percentages depending on character and DI, which makes it better than back throw in that sense. And like back throw, it can kill if the opponent is near the ledge. Not the most reliable way to end the stock, but it's another option you have. Up throw. Like back throw, this move can sometimes be used as a kill throw if the opponent is at high enough percentage. And having rage helps as well. But what makes it slightly better than back throw is that this move can also be used as a mix up combo or pressure shutter. Since up throw into up air works sort of like a 50 50, so most of the time the opponent won't have a fast enough option to get out. Unless they air dodge, which Falcon can frame trap or just wait and punish. Down tilt. This move will mainly be used as a stronger poking tool in addition to Falcon's other reliable poking tools. It works especially well if done near the ledge because of the angle it launches the opponent at. It sends them straight away, and if near the ledge, this can set up an edge card option or just KO at high enough percentages. It's also good for two framing or punishing re-grabs, however there are better options. Up tilt. Due to the hitbox, this move can work well as an anti-air at times. As well as it can be used out of certain moves for a nice confirm. You can also use up tilt to punish high recoveries when near the ledge. Down smash. You will mostly find yourself using down smash to cover multiple options, such as the tech chase scenario where down smash can cover every option. And maybe in a ledge trap scenario as a mix up or to catch landings as well. Down throw. Down throw is usually regarded as Falcon's best throw, since it's Falcon's premier combo throw. It won't really kill as opposed to other kill throws, but you can get true follow ups like up air, neutral air, and back air, as well as dash attack on the eye away. And in high percentages, it becomes less useful but you can still use it to try and condition your opponent into air dodging, which Falcon can easily cover. Falcon Kick Falcon Kick is a strong burst option that has really strong hitbox at the beginning and it gets weaker over time. It's a very high risk high reward move since it's so committal but it can sometimes cross up which can help. It can be useful as a punishing tool for catching landings and punishing certain options out of shield or after a spot dodge. And I like to use it as a mix up when coming back from ledge since the first hitbox is so strong. Dash attack. Dash attack is one of Falcon's better burst options as well as approaching tools. Regardless if you get the strong or weak hitbox, you can still follow up with options like up air, which if air dodged, Falcon can still apply pressure by frame trapping or baiting it out. Dash attack can also kill at very high percentages as a mix up, so keep this in mind. Up smash. Up smash can true combo into aerials such as up air low percentages, and is a really strong kill option in high percentages. You can use it after a down air for a solid confirm, and the hitbox is pretty big, so this move can also be useful to catch landings or defensive options like rolls. It's also relatively safe on shield, so it may be hard to whiff punish at times. Up air. Upper is one of Falcon's best aerials since it has many uses like combos, pressuring, and kill power. You can use this after a lot of Falcon's moves like down throw, nair one, 
and downer. You can also connect an upper after a raptor boost that really have percentages for a kill option. It's a really good pressure tool on characters who are trying to land above you. And if they manage to escape the up air, Falcon can still follow up and keep applying pressure. Up air becomes better on a stage with platforms since it makes it easier to follow up with other options. And it's even more useful if implemented with IDJs, which there is also a guide that you can check out. Off stage, up air will never true combo into knee or up B. But if the opponent air dodges, you can still follow up with a frame trap for example. And upper can also work as a mix-up option from ledge. Down air. Down air is a really good option to go for at all percentages. Since at low to mid percentages, you can follow up a down air with options like grab. And at high percentages, pretty much anything can follow up from simple extensions to legit kill confirms. You can also use this move as a combo finisher, such as after an air 1 if near the ledge. And this obviously works really well for edge carding and trying to 2 frame or punish your opponent's recovery. And even the sour spot hitbox can be useful sometimes since it's incredibly strong. Raptor Boost Raptor Boost is a really committal option since it's so laggy if whiffed. But it's high risk, high reward because you get guaranteed follow ups at pretty much all percentages. You can true combo into up air or back air for a kill option. And knee can work if they don't air dodge or input a fast enough option that I've hit stun. And if they do air dodge, you can cover that as well. And the aerial version has a spike hitbox which can actually KO some characters at zero or really low percentages. Falcon Dive Falcon Dive or up B is probably Falcon's best special move. It can be used as a strong out of shield option on laggy moves. It's useful as a ledge trapping tool since it'll beat out a lot of options. It can be used for edge carding in many situations. And it's a command grab which means it beats shields making this extremely risky to shield against. I like to use up B when my opponents on a platform above me since they will most likely shield there. Up B has pretty deceptive range since it goes pretty far if grounded, but if you jump right before going for an up B, it'll give you even more range which can make punishing some options more reliable. Although doing this makes it slightly laggier due to the jump squad animation. And you can drift your up B enough to where it can get you out of trouble when trying to recover. Jab. Since this is Falcon's fastest move when it comes to startup, this can be very useful as a poking tool and a burst option especially if near the ledge. When landing a jab, you can either choose to go for a rapid jab finisher or what's known as a gentleman finisher. To get a gentleman, you simply hold the A button, whereas a rapid jab is done by tapping it multiple times. Gentleman is actually stronger and is a recommended option when near the ledge. You don't want to hold jab though, since it's laggier than a regular 1-2 jab. So what you can do is tap the A button once and then hold it the second time. What this does is that it stops you from holding jab if you whiff, but you also get an automatic gentleman if you land it, making it a bit safer. Forward tilt. Like jab, this also works as a poking tool since it has more range but it's also slightly slower. You can angle your forward tilt up or down depending on where your opponent is, essentially making it work as an anti-air as well as a way to stuff short characters or low profiles. At low to mid percentage, forward tilt might lead into a tech situation, which Falcon can cover every option. And you can extend forward tilt's range by executing a boost pivot tilt, which is done by dashing, turning around, and inputting a forward tilt back in the direction you were facing, giving you a slight boost. Neutral air. Neutral air is arguably Falcon's best move. I have a separate guide on neutral air which covers it a lot more in depth, but pretty much this move has a lot of different uses. It has two hitboxes, and depending on which one you land with, you will get different setups. Landing with the first hitbox gives you true follow-ups from zero all the way to kill percent, so make sure to get familiar with all your follow-ups here. Landing with the second hit also has two follow-ups at low percent. And at mid percent, it starts to lead into a tech chase situation. 
the second hit is the strong one and can be used as an edge card option, as well as a combo finisher if done after an up air. It's also really safe on shield, and it can be implemented after an IG date, so Falcon players need to be comfortable with this move. Back air. Back air is a fast but really strong option that can be used in neutral to try and stuff approaches since it has decent range and is safe on shield. By landing with back air, Falcon can follow it up into many different options at low percent. And it can lead into a tech chase at mid percentages. You can use it after moves like down throw, nair one, and raptor boost if you reverse it, which can be done by either attack cancel or reverse aerial rush. It's a really good kill move, so make sure to use it to catch jumps or approach options in neutral as an edge card option. And you might be able to get a back air after a down air or even a reverse up air. And weak hit a back air can also be useful for setting up combos as well as edge carding. Forward air. Forward air, or knee, is possibly Falcon's best kill move and one of his best moves in general. Both the strong hitbox and the weak hitbox have their uses. Sweet spot knee can be followed up after many different moves such as down air and nair one. These are strong kill confirms which can kill really early if near the ledge. And knee has really tight 50-50s out of raptor boost and up air, which Falcon can cover. You can use this move as a callout on certain options like jumps and rolls. And you can also use it offstage as an edge card tool as well. Since the hitbox is active for so long, weak knee can be just enough to successfully edge card some fighters. And you can still follow up with other options out of weak knee, so try to keep up the pressure. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like the whole tier list. Um, I decided not to include moves like get up attacks, grabs, and uh, pummels since all of those are pretty average when it comes to Falcon. Um, but for the most part here, all the moves are organized by tier list. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. It really helped me out. And uh, share the video with all your friends. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.